All right, so this is the compilation of a few hours worth of work that may or may not have been a complete waste of time. Gosh, I love this music too much. All right, anyway, I I, I have been kind of uh, mad about grading distribution, specifically how one class does it. And so I was like, all right, I need to do the math and figure out like how much is my time actually worth compared to like what this teacher expects. So I thought I'd make a presentation uh, powered specifically by procrastination and the fact that this is actually kind of stupid. So let me, let me give you some background. I have been, uh, I'm a numbers nerd. Uh, I don't actually think of myself as a numbers nerd, but I use numbers a lot. So I built a program a spreadsheet that tracks how much time I spend on my assignments. And so I just use this and I have an idea of how long it takes me to do like, see, this is about 75% of the time I can do these assignments in this time or less. And this is based off how many I have left to do. So most of the time, you know, the assignment, like the written assignment takes the most amount of time, which, you know, makes sense. It's a pretty big assignment. So this is how that looks, you know, on a week to week scale is like usually like 37%, yeah, 37% or more is spent on this writing assignment. But now we've got this class, this, uh, well, before we get to that. So this is what like assignments would look like. I'd put down like my dates and I have this for each of those different types. So I have a whole list of how much time I've spent on each of them, how much I thought it was going to take. And you can see like right here about like on 50% or more um, of the time I, or 50% or less of the time I can complete it in under an hour. Uh, and this for one of those assignment types. So now we go into why I'm actually mad about this. This is the, this is the, uh, in the syllabus, this is how this one teacher grades their work. And so I just, I don't know if you can tell where specifically I'm a little bit annoyed. I, I don't know if you can, it can see, let me, let me just, you know, graph this for you. So this is this class. Uh, this is what the grades percentage for each of these assignments is worth overall for the entirety of the class. Now you might notice that two of these classes are just a, a little bit smaller than the rest, making up only 5% of the entire grade, which means that technically if you were to not do any of those assignments and get 100% of the rest of it, you'd still be in an A <laughs> or at least a high B. Like these assignments that are supposed to take up the majority of the time and effort, if you don't do them, does it really, like, just, it just bothers me just slightly because just look at how skewed, like, percentage, so this is how much time it would take me on average per class to do these assignments. And the written assignment right now, like, it would take me about five hours to get 5% of the overall grade. That's, I don't know, like, that. that's probably, like, average or something like that but when you compare it to other things and that's where like my big issue with this is it's not specifically that it's going to take an hour to earn like this one percent like do i even value that one percent enough to spend an hour on it no of course not but the idea is that in comparison to the other activities for the class that it's so low and that's that's the part that bothers me like th i don't think learning journals should be this high 20% that seems kind of ridiculous but anyway regardless let's just look at like okay the amount of time it would take to earn 1% of the overall grade for a written assignment would be 53 minutes why <laughs> this is stupid uh, no 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 it's not stupid it's just a teacher has a different way of doing this they're they clearly value uh, these other assignments like this learning journal they clearly value a lot more than the writing assignment and that's that's up to them right because that's this is their class and all the rest of it I'm just saying I personally have some issues with that just the way that that's done so you know okay whatever but but let's just compare this to like you know another class this is just another class that I'm taking uh, look, 10%. Look at that. There's a nice even distribution uh, between all of these assignments that take a lot of time. Look at that. And look, the in comparison to some of the other like tests and stuff, it's not that bad. And I can move on. Look, it's this is this is 30% for those who are wondering what's behind my head. So when we compare these two classes, you know, this one with a much even distribution, notice how it's not absurdly long to complete one assignment to get points in that one assignment and also if you notice with this class with uh, where it's got 10% for each of these three assignments 
you can't skip those assignments and be fine. Like, in this class, theoretically, if you could not participate for part of the class, you could still get an A or high B, which is a little bit ridiculous. With this one, if you were to not participate in these areas, you'd be at a C or lower, which make, which I think makes more sense. Um, so, and this is just the same information, just on a better chart, so you can actually compare it, because I think that the uh, that chart didn't really show you. It takes, like, literally twice as long to earn a percentage point for the written assignments in, in that area. I just think that's just kind kind of foolish. Like these I like the um this blue how like close everything is to each other. This this red is ridiculous. I just I I just don't get it. So like in the end of the day I'm just saying it's kind of stupid that this one assignment for this one class would take like way too long to complete. Like this is ridiculous especially considering that the majority of the time per week and over the course of the class will be spent on this one assignment so you're basically saying that this one assignment is not worth that much and it's the one that you're like write multiple pages worth of work and that's worth like each assignment is worth like literally if i remember correctly it's like 0.7 for multiple hours of work and that's and that's if i can complete the assignment in 53 minutes if i can't then every time like every additional minute is just being diminished in value like so much it's ridiculous um so i think it's silly and i think it just devalues the longest and the most like difficult assignment that's being assigned uh, whereas if I were to, instead of spending like an hour on this written assignment and instead poured that into getting a better grade on the quizzes by studying, reading and all that sort of stuff, then, you know, this wouldn't, this, the time would be worth much more. That's, that's my point is the hours that I spend on my reading assignments or my, uh, self quizzes and my studying or even like the the graded assignments like that type of stuff is worth more than the thing that like takes the most amount of time and is the hardest to do like it's super easy for me to just read and study writing is stupid uh so you could just not do the assignments but there's a, a little thing in the syllabus where this percentage thing comes out that says if you don't do one or more of the assignments or i think it's two if you don't do two or more of these assignments then you basically just instantly fail the class, uh, which is, you know, you can't really do that because you need the credits. Uh, you could minimize the amount of effort spent on the assignments because, you know, if you're only if you're only wagering 5% of the grade and you're like, OK, I'll spend 15 minutes on this written assignment. You're basically saying that that 15 minutes, like even if you were to get like a 50 percent, which is like 50 <laughs> percent on the written assignment, you you basically be getting I I I just I. If you only spent 15 minutes on this written assignment and you failed it, got a 50% on it, you would still, time-wise, ah, gosh, it's just so stupid. I just... So, you could also, like, equalize out the grading curve, which, you know, I think makes a little bit more sense, but, you know, each teacher to their own, but... And then also what's kind of nice, silver lining is that if you were to minimize the amount of time you spend on each of these writing assignments and say, okay, the requirements are this, this, and this, I'm not even going to try and meet their requirements. I'm just going to submit something. I mean, that's kind of like a, a bad way to do it. Don't, don't take my advice. I'm, I'm just saying purely optimizing route for school. If, if you were to try to take shortcuts, uh, these shortcuts time-wise might work out. I'm just saying, just saying, this is don't take my advice. This is just half baked ideas. Ooh, I didn't know I could do that. Um, so just, you know, maybe if the curve was a little more equalized, then, you know, maybe it'd be more motivating to do a multiple hour long assignment. Uh, and it would also require you to put an effort into that because I can kind of skimp away right now. So also, why, why is this presentation stupid? Because this is honestly have been a complete waste of time on my part uh maybe not completely it's this won't have any effect like i mean i guess if you just watch this video you just watch me ramble on about something i'm 
uh, I, I'm passionate about my time and value and also I, I, apparent like I need to, I need to get like degree and all that other crap and so I have to like find a way to justify the effort to myself but then I find things like this like this little thing that bothers me because I'm like I could like the the method of learning in this class is not not my way of learning like I could go off and actually program where I could actually like do practical stuff and learn a lot better and that time would be more valuable if I was learning but not that's not what I'm doing I'm I'm doing it for grade so I can get a credit so I can get a degree so I could put it on a resume while I'm already you know getting hours of work experience which will also go on the degree so this this, this whole thing won't change anything uh, I spent multiple hours putting this presentation together and specifically the math part like I went through and calculated out how much time each percentage point was worth <sighs> and this is basically the equivalent of just screaming into the void because it, it doesn't matter but it's for me it's like emotionally processing that this, this sometimes there's just stupid things like this This is this is it. The music's great though. I'm gonna link this in the description. But yeah, this is this is how my life is going right now. Um, I'm most likely going to keep working on college, even though there's a lot of other things I would rather do. Yeah. See you around.